In this last section, we'll learn about BigQuery, which is Google's fully managed, petabyte scale, low-cost analytics data warehouse. BigQuery is a fully managed, serverless data warehouse. A data warehouse is a large store that contains terabytes and petabytes of data gathered from a wide range of sources within an organization, and it's used to guide management decisions. Being fully managed means that BigQuery takes care of all the underlying infrastructure, so you can focus on using SQL queries to answer business questions without worrying about deployment, scalability, and security. Let's look at some key features of BigQuery. One, BigQuery provides two services in one, storage plus analytics. It's a place to store petabytes of data. For reference, one petabyte is equivalent to 11,000 movies at 4K quality. BigQuery is also a place to analyze data with built-in features like machine learning, geospatial analysis, and business intelligence, which we'll explore a bit later on. Two, BigQuery is a fully managed serverless solution, which means that you use SQL queries to answer your organization's biggest questions in the front end without worrying about infrastructure in the back end. If you've never written SQL before, don't worry. This course provides resources and labs to help. Three, BigQuery has a flexible pay-as-you-go pricing model where you pay for the number of bytes of data your query processes and for any permanent table storage. If you prefer to have a fixed bill each month, you can also subscribe to flat rate pricing where you can have a reserved amount of resources for use. Four, data in BigQuery is encrypted at rest by default without any action required from a customer. By encrypted at rest, we mean that encryption is used to protect data that is stored on a disk, including solid state drives or backup media. And five, BigQuery has built-in machine learning features, so you can write ML models directly in BigQuery by using SQL. Also, if you use other professional tools, such as Vertex AI from Google Cloud, to train your ML models, you can export data sets from BigQuery directly into Vertex AI for a seamless integration across the data to AI lifecycle. So what does the typical architecture of a data warehouse solution look like? The input data can be either real-time or batch data. If it's streaming data, which can be either structured or unstructured, high speed and large volume, PubSub is needed to digest the data. If it's batch data, it can be directly uploaded to cloud storage. After that, both pipelines lead to Dataflow to process the data. Dataflow is where we extract, transform, and load the data if needed. BigQuery sits in the middle to link data processes by using Dataflow and data access through analytics, AI, and ML tools. The job of the analytics engine of BigQuery at the end of a data pipeline is to ingest all the process data after ETL, store and analyze it, and then possibly output it for further use, such as data visualization and machine learning. BigQuery outputs usually feed into two buckets, business intelligence tools and AI and ML tools. If you're a business analyst or data analyst, you can connect to visualization tools like Looker, Google Data Studio, Tableau, or other BI tools. If you prefer to work in spreadsheets, you can query both small or large BigQuery datasets directly from Google Sheets and even perform common operations like pivot tables. Alternatively, if you're a data scientist or machine learning engineer, you can directly call the data from BigQuery through AutoML or Vertex AI Workbench. These AI and ML tools are part of Vertex AI, Google's unified ML platform. BigQuery is like a common staging area for data analytics workloads. When your data is there, business analysts, BI developers, data scientists, and machine learning engineers can be granted access to your data for their own insights. BigQuery can ingest data sets from various sources, including internal data, which is data saved directly in BigQuery, external data. BigQuery also offers the option to query external data sources, like data stored in other Google Cloud storage services, such as cloud storage, or in other Google Cloud database services, such as Spanner or Cloud SQL, and bypass BigQuery managed storage. This means that a raw CSV file in cloud storage, or a Google Sheet, can be used to write a query without being ingested by BigQuery first. Multi-cloud data, which is data stored in multiple cloud services, such as AWS or Azure, and public data sets. If you don't have data of your own, you can analyze any of the public data sets available in the cloud marketplace. 
After the data is stored in BigQuery, it's fully managed and is automatically replicated, backed up, and set up to auto-scale. You can use three basic patterns to load data into BigQuery. The first is a batch load, where source data is loaded into a BigQuery table in a single batch operation. This can be a one-time operation or it can be automated to occur on a schedule. A batch load operation can create a new table or append data into an existing table. The second is streaming, where smaller batches of data are streamed continuously so that the data is available for querying in near real time. And the third is generated data, where SQL statements are used to insert rows into an existing table or to write the results of a query to a table. Of course, the purpose of BigQuery is not to just store data. It's for analyzing data and helping to make business decisions. BigQuery is optimized for running analytic queries over large data sets. It can perform queries on terabytes of data in seconds and petabytes in minutes. This performance lets you analyze large data sets efficiently and get insights in near real time. Google Data Studio, Looker, and many integrated partner tools can be used to draw analytics from BigQuery and build sophisticated interactive data visualizations. BigQuery also has built-in capabilities for building machine learning models. An ML model lets you solve certain kinds of problems at scale by using data examples, but without the need for custom code. Machine learning on large data sets requires extensive programming and knowledge of ML frameworks. These requirements restrict solution development to a small set of people within each company, and they exclude data analysts who understand the data but have limited machine learning knowledge and programming expertise. BigQuery ML empowers data analysts to use machine learning through existing SQL tools and skills. Analysts can use BigQuery ML to build and evaluate ML models in BigQuery. Analysts no longer need to export small amounts of data to spreadsheets or other applications, and they no longer need to wait for limited resources from a data science team. BigQuery ML functionality is available by using the BigQuery Web UI, the BQ command line tool, the BigQuery REST API, and an external tool such as Jupyter Notebook or Business Intelligence Platform.